Picture this, you meet the one, you fall madly in love, you blend your lives, and you'll even see a proposal on the horizon, but then out of nowhere, you realize that your partner is not quite on board. And in fact, the only person looking off into the horizon is you. On today's case, Mr. Youngblood says his dream of having a life partner, a family, and the white picket fence all came crashing down when he realized Ms. Hurt had other ideas about her future. Mr. Youngblood suspects Ms. Hurt's newfound friendship with another woman is the reason she no longer is interested in building a life with him. Mr. Youngblood says he's ready to end their relationship if she isn't ready to get hitched. Let's hear their case. Their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Youngblood versus Hurt. Thank you very much. Mr. Youngblood, you came to court today because you say you came from a broken home, and that's why marriage, children, and the white picket fence are very important to you. But sadly, you feel that Ms. Hurt is not interested in that life or you. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Hurt, you say you will not be pressured into marriage, and all Mr. Youngblood is doing is driving you away with his commitment demands. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so it seems like these are two people who fell in love but are at a crossroads. Mr. Youngblood, you guys have been together for four and a half years. You live together. You own a business together. How do we get here in the court today? Why are we here? Um, Your Honor, I want to settle down with Ashley, and I feel like I've done everything that a man needs to do to get himself together, to commit himself to someone else, to be a husband for her. And to say that this is the woman that I love... Yes, ma'am. ...and I want to build a life. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Miss Hurt, well, I know a whole lot of women that come in here that would give their left arm to hear that. Why do you say this is not who you are? I just feel that I don't have to, you know, sign a paper or change my last name to confide our, my relationship to be with somebody. Like, you know, I can go 40 years and be with him without a ring, you know? We got loyalty, we got trust. It's everything there, but I don't... I just feel that we don't have to be married to, you know, be together forever. Why don't you take me back, Mr. Youngblood? How'd you all meet? Then tell me how you got to this point. Okay, well, we met on Facebook. I had made a post, and she had liked it and had commented on it. And so I went through her profile and went, went on her page, and I looked through. I'm, she was beautiful. I noticed that right off the rip. Our conversation was good. And we had set up a, a lunch date for the next day. I understand you all have something in common. Twins running yes. your family, right? Yes, ma'am. When you first met Ms. Hurt, did you tell her you were looking for a long-term relationship? Yes, ma'am. Or were y'all just kicking it? No, Your Honor, I told her I was looking for a long-term relationship. And Ms. Hurt, I'm gonna turn to you. Was it sort of kismet at the beginning? Like, yeah, this is this is a good guy? Yeah, it was. It was great. It was like a kid in the candy store. You know, I was smiling all the time. It was happy. It was something that I wanted that I haven't had in a long time. You know, and he did come off like, you know, I wanna be with you. I don't wanna go nowhere, but it wasn't marriage right then and there, but so you all were both walking into a relationship knowing, listen, let's see what we can build. Is yes, that fair? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So how did things change? Talk to me, Mr. Youngblood. I kind of laid myself out on the table to Ashley. Uh -huh. um, I told her everything that came with me, like my kids, and um, I told her my goals and my aspirations and what I wanted to be in life. And about a year and a half after starting our relationship, we both started a dessert business together. And it's going great. Mm -hmm. um, I have no complaints. I tried to condition myself to be a husband for her and her kids. So have uh, you stepped into the role of father? Yes, Your Honor, I have. But she doesn't let me really be the father that I want to be to her children. It's always she coming behind me, have to say something, or what I said does not go. Yeah, because he always got to have something to say. How old are your children, Mr. Youngblood? Um, my twins just turned 15. Ms. Hurt, how old are your my children? My girls will be 11 on June 1st. Okay, you all, ooh, y'all in the preteen <laughs> and the teen phase. My son turns 17 next week. Okay. okay? But these are kids at an age that require, you know, some true adult companionship, supervision, all of that kind of stuff. What's the problem, Miss Hurt? Why do you think that Mr. Youngblood's parenting style is not one that you want? It's not more so one that I want. I just think it's a little too overboard. Like I tell the kids, get ready to get in the shower, get ready for school. And um, they might take like two or three minutes. 
And then here he comes right behind me again saying the same thing. And it's like, I just said it. They heard me. Like, you don't have to say nothing. Like, give them time to get up off the bed or put the game down. They're, they're going. Your so, Honor, she knows her children. And she knows that they're taking their time to do what they asked of her. And I all feel kids like it's take their time. Over, they just... I feel like it's walking over their mom. He said they that. They're not that. walking over me. From the moment I turned 12 until I was 17 years old, I was a terror to my mother. I was a little Miss Smarty Pants. Thought I knew everything. Y'all supposed to say, of course not, That's Judge. <laughs> of course, Judge. I don't believe that that would be you. <laughs> not at all. But y'all can imagine. Okay. It's a whole lot bringing up some little girls. So we smile about this, but that's very clear. Mr. Youngblood, you've been looking for a wife. Yes, ma'am. Miss Hurt, you're okay being in a long-term committed relationship, but you're not looking to be a wife. Tell me why. Well, just, you know, being around and growing up, seeing people, you know, in marriages and just always had a thing in the back of my head, like, don't nothing change with the last name for me. So it's like, you can still do whatever you want, married or not. And I just don't want to be a victim to that marriage type of still getting cheated on or having mistresses or whatever that these husbands be doing. I don't need a paper to solidify that I'm loyal here with you and want to grow old and die with you. You have been with Mr. Youngblood for now four and a half years. Yes, sir. Has he shown you any of that behavior? No. Is he a disloyal kind of man? No, Your Honor. Do you feel like you can trust him? Yes, Your Honor. When you have needed something, has he been there for you? Yes, Your Honor. So it sounds like all of the stuff that you need in a relationship, y'all are at least giving each other. If you say you want somebody dependable, Mr. Youngblood don't cheat. Mr. Youngblood's not disrespectful, not disloyal. Not um, no more, but... Oh, he used to be? On the way out the door, I just get on my knee and I grabbed his hand and he like, what are you doing, Ashley? And I'm like, babe, you know, I'm holding. I'm like, well, you marry me. And he like, what? And he like, get up, get up. You are, you embarrassing me, get up. And I'm like, babe, just marry me, please. And then <laughs> I got up and I was like, psych, I'm just playing. Just because she's been victimized in her past or whatever she's been through victimized. doesn't mean she has to hold the next person accountable. I'm just not going for a lot of things. That's why he changed. Well, how about you were a strong woman and rocked his world, and he said, <laughs> did, that's Honor. who I want. <laughs> and, Your Honor, if I may, when we first got together, we were in transition and trying to find us a place. And once we did that, you know, I took the initiative. I got the bills switched over. I fully furnished the, the place. And mind you, we were homeless in transition for 10 months. It took some thought and some time into everything that I put into it. So when we got our home, we got it furnished and got the bills done and everything done, um, I actually tried to propose to her and she took it as a joke. You mean you actually did the whole yes, proposal? Yes, You didn't have a ring. I didn't have a ring, but I was... You never do. But I don't think you need a ring to... I mean, she knows that I'm more than capable of getting a ring. But, but wait just... a minute now, Mr. Youngblood. Ms. Ms. Hurst says you, you don't need a piece of paper to feel committed. You say you don't need a ring, <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> on behalf of, of those who have been proposed so to. Way, then, right? I kind of like if the ring. If we're not going off of materialistic things, then none of that should, should matter. Okay, so let me be devil's advocate. If you're not going on tradition, why you have to be married then? I want Thank her to have you, my Your last Honor. name. Oh! <laughs> so now it's sounding a little egotistical. I already got it. It's on my cash app, Ashley Youngblood. But here's my question. I love my husband with all my heart and soul, and I got married and told the world, and I'm still <laughs> Star Jones the person. Okay. I'm Mrs. Lugo mm. in our social setting, okay. and I'm Mrs. Lugo to him. Okay. Okay? Yes, ma'am. That's the whole thing. Always. Mm. I represent for him 24-7. And see, I want you to put, I want her to put on for me like that. Yeah, but oh, but I'm still, but wait. <laughs> I do. A whole lot. <laughs> Mayhaps you want to look over there? <laughs> it still says Star Jones. It does. Yes, right. That's right. You're right. But so, I still showed her I'm worthy of that though. Man, at least he is. give me that much. But I'm just in my ways. It could be like 10 but years. But why are you in your way? Because you're about like... to get on my <laughs> nerves, Ms. Hurt. <laughs> why are you in your way? She tried to propose to me and then said, psych. <laughs> what was that about, Ms. Okay, Hurt? Okay, 
So we going, we going to the store one day to get our, you know, dessert stuff for our dessert business and everything. We get started at two o'clock. So I'm irritated because we're getting started late in the store and he wants to stop and look at rings. And I'm like, this is not what we came in here for. I'm ready to get my stuff so I can go make my desserts and go out and get rid of them. So we get into a little disagreement in the store about it. So I guess I realized that I really, you know, made him sad about the ring thing or even to go look at the rings. So I just thought that on the way out the door, I just get on my knee and I grabbed his hand and he like, what are you doing, Ashley? And I'm like, babe, you know, I'm a hoe. And I'm like, will you marry me? And he like, what? And he like, get up, get up. You are, you embarrassing me, get up. People they looking at you, people and stopping. And, and I'm like, babe, just marry me, please. And then <laughs> once he kept saying, get up, get up, I just was like, oh, I got up and I was like, psych, I'm just playing. But I love you, babe. I put my head down, <laughs> loaded the groceries in the car. I ain't say nothing for the rest of the ride home. But wait a minute. Why didn't you take her up on it? Because I couldn't take her serious. Like, we was never, like, I know her, know her. And I'm like, no, <laughs> wouldn't do anything like that. What are you doing? That's my job. Miss Hurt, <laughs> question. Funny. What yes, would you have done if he had said yes? I don't know. Well, that goes back to me being stuck in my ways. And that's what I was about to point out. Yes. All of a sudden, you let your guard down for just a minute, and then you hit it behind a joke. Because I be thinking about, like, you know, he is, you know, I could marry him, get his last name, but then again, I think about my ways. Your Honor, I think <laughs> the reason why she really, really, truly don't want to marry me, I think she's still in the women. <laughs> okay, all of a sudden, this is like something just come from left field. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a threesome, so it shouldn't be a problem if it was. Miss Hurt, you still desiring of other people in a relationship? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Your Honor, I think <laughs> the reason why she really, really, truly don't want to marry me, I think she's still in the women. <laughs> Okay, all of a sudden, this is like something just come from left field. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a threesome we argued about for two years, the first two years about that, so it shouldn't be a problem if it was. I said I wouldn't want it to have a threesome. I didn't mind doing that, but that's not somebody I want to be with every day. Okay, so in other words, you'd be very happy to enjoy the dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. But you're not looking to put that as a full course meal in the regular situation. No, Your Honor, I'm not. Is that what we're talking about? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Hurd, let me just put it to you bluntly. Are you still desiring of other people in a relationship? No, Your Honor. That was like six years ago. And from what I understand, you all have been together for four and a half years. Have you been faithful? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, that oh, has... She didn't tell you about the birthday. Oh, party. there's more? I... Go <laughs> ahead. My brother had a, had a birthday party. And I, I guess when we were there, I guess she was texting this friend. She has a friend named Tyler. And when she showed up, it was evident that she was texting her. She was all in her face, between her legs, not showing me no attention at all, Yarn. So what's up with Tyler? That's my girl. You know, we got kids, we <laughs> hang out, we be on the same page when we're together. Let me say I have a girl, Your Honor. And, uh... Well, that is a little bit different. If you said that's your boy, Unless that's somebody you've been I don't sleeping talk to with. Boys, though. Okay? Uh, yes, right. Man. Yes, All right. Honor. But have you been sleeping with Tyler? No, Your Honor. Have you ever slept with Tyler? No, Your Honor. I really want to meet Tyler because Tyler has had her name bandied about and she came here today to straighten it all out. Will you please ask the witness to come in? Sure. Good morning. So please state your name and the relationship to uh, the defendant for the court. My name is Tyler. Um, I'm Ashley's friend. Okay. You've been Ashley's friend for how long? Six or seven years. So before Mr. Youngblood came into the yes. situation, have you and Miss Hurt been involved in an intimate relationship? Um, what do you, like, put that at? I mean, okay. we kissed. Have you had sex straight up with Miss Hurt? Uh, no, no sex. It was uh, little kisses here and there. But... Okay. You define your relationship. Don't have me define it. Tell like me about Like I said, it. we're friends. We like to go out. We like to drink. We like to have fun. Mm -hmm. She's had previous relationships with girls. Did she have a previous relationship with you? No. Were you ever involved with other women in an intimate relationship? Is no. Right? No. Ron, a few weekends ago, we um, all took our families out to um, 
a skating rink, and we were at the table getting the kids food and drinks and stuff. And then I turn around and I look out on the skating rink and they hold hands skating around the skating rink. But I just find that inappropriate. But wait, isn't that what? I'm... I thought it was harmless. I would, we were skating. I'm not a good skater. She better skating than me. I want to stay up. I don't want to <laughs> be falling out here. She's going to help me so I don't fall. Ms. Her, was there anything else going on other than you trying to keep her from busting her behind? When we were talking, because the music be so loud, but other than that, no, Your Honor. And what was inappropriate about it, Mr. Youngblood? Well, I submitted some evidence. Okay, let me see. Um, who it looks like's in a relationship right there? <laughs> if you didn't know none of us, nobody in that picture, you tell me, what does that look like? I would just say it's a whole group of friends. I'm sorry, what am I missing? <laughs> I, I, well, I'm gonna go up and look, I'm sorry. Right. I see, that's Tyler. Mm -hmm. Yes, in a purple, well, we all have them purple. But okay. That's her sitting on the bench. I mean, it just looks like a group of friends. What am okay. I supposed to see, Mr. Youngblood? They're more leaning towards each other than with me. <laughs> I don't want to even put the picture together. Like, ask the person to take the picture for us, and I'm just left by myself with the kids. <laughs> <laughs>